if everything you know is just the beginning. This is the universe, 13.8 billion years old, over 90 billion light years wide, and expanding faster than Bob trying to avoid a conversation about feelings. Hey, I talked about my feelings once, for like 15 seconds, that counts. That's Bob, space enthusiast, cosmic guinea pig, and absolutely not qualified for what's about to happen. I once mapped a constellation using pizza grease on my telescope lens. I am basically an astronaut. We live inside a cosmic bubble, the observable universe. Beyond that, it's not just darkness. It's, well, possibly everything, or nothing, or something else entirely. Beyond the edge of what we can observe, light hasn't had time to reach us. So, is there more universe out there? Probably. But then the real question hits. What if there is something beyond the universe? Right after the Big Bang, the universe inflated faster than Bob realizing he accidentally hit reply all. This gave us space, time, and physics. A dramatic origin, story worthy of a trilogy. But inflation might not have been a one-time thing. Enter the multiverse theory. Some physicists think our universe is just one bubble in a vast cosmic foam. Which means we could be the weird neighbor in a galactic suburb of infinite dimensions. So somewhere out there, there's another me who flosses daily? Or a version of you that's a sentient pencil case, or a fog bank with anxiety. Guys, there's a glowing thing. Should that be glowing? You're looking at a hypothetical boundary. Some theories call it the cosmic horizon. Others suggest it's a brain. A multidimensional membrane in string theory. Okay, but like, is it snackable? No, Bob. It is not a cosmic marshmallow. If brains exist, they could collide. That collision might cause a whole new universe. Big Bang 2. Galactic Boogaloo. So we're living inside a giant cosmic flapjack? And there's other flapjacks just flipping around out there? That's one way to put it. Another way? Reality could be part of a higher dimensional space like how a 2D stick figure can't imagine 3D. We might be the stick figure, and the real party is happening upstairs. You can't poke the edge of the universe, Bob. If it wasn't meant to be poked, why does it look so pokeable? Even if you could reach the end, which, by the way, expands as you approach it, you'd find more space or in some models, total nothingness. Not emptiness, just actual nothing. No atoms, no time, and no laws of physics. That sounds like my last group chat. It would instantly kill you. Okay, so worse than the group chat. Other theories suggest other universes have different constants. No gravity, no light. Or maybe universes where time runs backwards and you uneat your lunch. Finally, guilt-free burrito consumption. But if there's something beyond the universe, one terrifying thought lingers. More terrifying than me being a cloud in one of these? What if something from beyond is trying to get in? If the laws of physics are local to our universe, 
then something from the outside wouldn't have to follow them. It's not even obeying Newton, this thing's freelancing physics. It could destroy us in an instant, or worse, ignore us entirely, because we might be less than ants to whatever lies beyond. So, is there something beyond the universe? Yes? No? Maybe? And we may never know. But one thing is certain. Guys, I think I found where the missing socks go. That Bob will never be the same again.